Ihi Ulam ad Din, English, The Revival of the Religious Sciences, Arabic, Ayyalaum al Din is an 11th century book written by Abu Hamid Muhammad ibn Muhammad al Ghazali. The book was composed in Arabic and was based on personal religious experience. It is regarded as one of his chief works and a classic introduction to the pious Muslim's way to God. Originally spanning over 40 volumes, it deals with the principles and practices of Islam and demonstrates how these can be made the basis of a reflective religious life, thereby, attaining the higher stages of Sufism. Some consider Kimya e Saadat as a rewrite of the Ihya e Ulam ed Din, which is a common misconception. Kimya e Saadat is shorter than Ihya e Ulam ed Din, however, Ghazali said that he wrote Kimya e Saadat to reflect the nature of Ihya e Ulam ed Din and a few of his other theological writings. Topic Background Ghazali was the student of Al Juwaini, under whom he studied religious sciences, including Islamic law and jurisprudence. Nizam al Mulk, the Seljuk vizier, recognized the great potential in Ghazali as a scholar and appointed him as the head of Nizamiya Madarasa in Baghdad. Ghazali, at the peak of his fame and scholarship went into a spiritual and intellectual crisis. He left his post at the institution on request of pilgrimage. He went into a long journey, traveling to Damascus, Jerusalem and finally to Mecca to perform the pilgrimage. Ghazali throughout the journey, was going through an inner spiritual struggle, and he became attracted towards the pathway of Sufis. This journey influenced Ghazali to write first on his autobiography Deliverance from Error and then his famous book The Revival of the Religious Sciences, explaining in detail about mysticism, theology, Islamic rituals and practices. Topic Structure The book is divided into four parts, each containing ten books. It explains the doctrines and practices of Islam and showed how these can be made the basis of a profound devotional life, leading to the higher stages of Sufism, or mysticism. Part 1 deals with knowledge and the essentials of faith. Part 2 discusses people and social customs. Parts 3 and 4 are dedicated to the inner soul and explains first the vices that people must master in overcoming them and then the virtues that they must work hard to fulfill. Topic Influence The Ihi Ulam ad Din became the most frequently read Islamic book after the Quran and the Hadith. Its great accomplishment was to bring Orthodox Sunni theology and Sufi mysticism together in a useful, comprehensible manner to guide every aspect of Muslim life and death. The book was well received by Islamic scholars such as Nawawi who stated that, were the books of Islam all to be lost, excepting only the Iyya, it would suffice to replace them all. <laughs> Manaj al Qasidin Al-Ghazali, despite being a scholar, was not an expert in the field of hadith and thus the hadith narrations contained in his book were scrutinized. 
Hadith experts like Ibn al-Jazi and Ibn al-Qudama al-Makdisi researched and sorted out the Hadith narrations contained in the book on the basis of their authenticities. They then wrote the Minaj al qasidin and its overview called Muqtasar. The book was then carefully reworked by Ibn al-Jazi and the result of his work was named Minaj al qasidin wa Mufadish Shadikan. Ibn al-Jazi's efforts in rewriting the book is considered important and while he had similarities with al-Ghazali in terms of mastery in mysticism, he also had the superiority of expertise in the knowledge of the hadiths. The reworking by Ibn al-Jazi focused on the re-examination of the existing hadiths, elimination of weak and disputed hadiths and their replacement with the authentic and sound ones so that the integrity of the book was not compromised. Minaj al qasidin was a fairly thick book and it was summarized in the form of Muqtasar by Imam ibn Qudama. Whenever Ibn al-Jazi focused on the study of Hadith, he found the Muqtasar book in line with its name, aiming at summarizing and making the essence of the previous book to be more concise, organized, and easy to understand. It also added additional notes so that it may become an easy book for students to read. Ibn Qudama remarked that whenever he read Ibn al-Jazi's Minhahul Qasidin, he felt that this book was very useful for society, so he would read it again in order to absorb the deeper meaning for the second time. He said that his admiration for the book grew such that he also added some important missing topics that were readily available in other prominent books of his time with additional notes such as hadith and commentary. See also Alchemy of Happiness Aims of the philosophers Incoherence of the philosophers <laughs>